Good morning, North Huntington. Welcome to March 27th. It is Friday, finally Friday. It is our ninth day of virtual learning, and it is a C day for those folks who have been following along with our um, synchronous learning schedule on our two hour delay schedule. So, welcome to Friday. I hope everyone's excited. I hope we had a great week. Um, some news came out yesterday from Governor Murphy. Uh, Governor Murphy sent out a tweet, and I'm just going to read this verbatim for you. Uh, so you know exactly all of the information that I know in terms of how long we are going to be uh, doing virtual instruction. So Governor Murphy says, let me be clear, the decision to reopen school districts rests with me. We will not be prepared to revisit the closure until at least April 17th at the very earliest. So that came directly from the governor yesterday. So based on that, it certainly sounds like we are going to be out until at least April 17th which means we have a couple weeks of virtual learning to get through before we have our spring break. Again, we are still following our calendar. We're not moving graduation at this point. We're not changing spring break. Everything is going to continue to function as it would have if we continue to have regular physical school like, we, like I'm in at today. So um, again, that's April 17th at the earliest. So let's all get comfortable for at least another two weeks of virtual learning. Also, I spoke to our athletic director, Mr. Mattis, who has been in constant communication with the NJSIAA, which is the Athletic Association for New Jersey, who regulates all of our high school athletics. And they are all very committed to salvaging any part of the season that they can if we are able to come back. So if we're able to come back at, at April at some point, or even at May at some point, and we can get even a few weeks in of sports, we certainly want to do that, and the NJSIAA wants to do that as well. So. We're all just trying to keep our hopes up, hoping for the best. So nothing has been officially canceled. I know coaches have been sending out workouts to their team, continue to do those individual workouts, not team workouts. Okay, remember also all of our fields here at North Huntington are closed and so no one should be practicing on any fields here, but continue to do your best to stay in shape because if we can salvage any part of our sports season, we are certainly going to do that. And so is the NJSIAA. So our big news today, I'm going to change the format up here a little bit. Our big news today is it is Lion Pride Day. The last Friday of every month for the last two years, we have been designated as Lion Pride Day. Thanks to our Education Foundation, they provided all of our teachers with some t-shirts about Lion Pride Day, okay, that we all wear on our Lion Pride Day. Some of us actually bought additional shirts and apparel as well. But it's something that we really celebrate here at North Huntington for, for two reasons, okay? Number one is Lion Pride means something different to us here at North Huntington. You'll see a lot of other schools that talk about their Pride Day. For example, maybe our fellow school at uh, Phillipsburg, they do Liner Pride, as in State Liner Pride. That only means one thing to them, okay? It means two things to us because we're lions and a group of lions is called a Pride. So we are a family. A family of lions is a pride. So we celebrate, when we're saying lion pride, we're celebrating our family of lions. And that family is our students, our parents, our community, and our teachers and administrators. So that's what we're celebrating, number one, when we say lion pride. We're proud of our lion family. Those other schools can't say that. Pride means only one thing to them. It means two things to us. And then the other thing that we're very proud of, obviously, is just the pride that we have in ourselves and in our school and, again, in this community and in this family. So we're proud of everything that we do here in North Huntington. We work every day to make it one day better, and that's something that we try to celebrate every, every month um, is really make it a point to celebrate that by all wearing our Lion Pride shirt, Lion Pride apparel, and celebrating our Lion Pride. So with that, I just want to make sure everyone out there knows I'm proud of all of our Lions out there. And again, that means our parents, our students, our community members, everyone working hard through this challenging time. And of course, our teachers who are working extremely hard to, um, to develop lessons that um, they weren't necessarily planning to do um, when they signed up for this profession of teaching. So everyone's working hard. I know it. I see it. I see the Chromebook activity for our students. I see our lessons that our teachers are posting. We're all working through this. We're all trying to figure this out together. And I appreciate everyone's support as we go through. Whoa, my lights went off in here. Through this together. So with that, I'm going to end this on a very dark note as I turn this over to Miss Summer Morris, who is going to give us our daily pep talk and she's going to talk about lion pride as well so i'm just going to roll with this let's have a great day let's make it a great weekend enjoy your lion pride day 
Good afternoon, North Hunterdon. My name is Senora Morris, and I am here to give you a, or attempt to give you a positive pep talk to be included in Dr. Cottrell's North Connection videos. Um, this Friday is the last Friday of the month, which normally means the staff members in the building all come to school wearing our Lion Pride shirts. And why I think that's relevant this week is because on the back of those shirts, our words it's like a word map of why what lion pride means to us and i think a lot of those words hold true for uh times such as these that are you know difficult for us to get through but remind us that we're all in it together that we're all a community and community is one of those words on the back other words are support um commitment never give up teamwork and family and so I just wanted to say those words to everybody that is listening because I think that right now especially that we can focus on negative but a lot of the positives that have come out of this pandemic, if we'll use the word, is this idea that we have to come together now more than ever and we're all in this together and we're better together, supporting each other, lifting each other up and checking in on each other. Um, I, for one, am having so much more appreciation for elementary school teachers because we're doing a little homeschooling um, with my seven and five year old and you know I would hope that I have so much respect now for parents that are having to go to work all the time and you know dedicate so much time there but what I've appreciated most is just like this time out this time to connect time to be with family time to reach out to let my students know that it's going to be okay um, and if you're listening students know that I do miss you terribly and you know I miss my current students my previous students I miss my hallway buddies um, but please know that your teachers do care for you and we are doing the best we can to check in on you and make sure that you are doing well parents same thing goes for you if you need us we are here for you and that's kind of what I've been focused on these past six days of virtual learning is just the immense um, support that this community has provided. So um, as you go into this Friday in the next few days, just know that um, I'm going to be wearing my shirt because Lion Pride is important and I appreciate everything that everyone is doing in this moment. So keep your head up, wake up with a purpose, and be productive. That's for all the students sleeping through the day. Just kidding. All right, have a good day, everybody.